Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plus size fashion try on haul. The brand I'm going to be trying today is Misguided. So if you're curious and intrigued to see what I got, then please stay tuned. Me love every woman in the world. The girls them pretty like diamonds and pearl. But a one girl me no want. So hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here, my name is Jodie and over on this channel I do everything to do with plus size fashion. Um, I also will talk about self-confidence, self-love and learning to love yourself regardless of your shape, your size, your gender, your disability. So yeah, if you like the sound of that, then it would really, really mean so much to me if you would join my little community by pressing the subscribe button. And if you like the video at the end, please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to press the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to see. So, hello, hello, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Today, I am going to be doing a, uh, what am I doing? I'm doing a misguided haul. Um, I haven't bought you one of these before, so this is a new brand that I'm going to be doing a haul on. Um, I have shopped with them previously, and I do like the brand. Um, their collection isn't a massive plus size collection, um, but what they do have seems to be quite nice so I thought let me order a few bits um and bring you a haul so that's what I have done today um so anyway let's get into the haul okay so I ordered um seven items so let's um let's look at the first item okay so we have here the plus size button front blouse in green and um, for those of you that don't know um i am a uk size 22 24 so everything that i order will be a uk size 22 24 so this brow this brows this blouse is in a size 24 and it's a green color let's open it let's get it open let's open the zip Okay, let's see. Ooh, it looks like a cropped blouse. It's very short. Let's, uh, if you can see the body, it's very short. It has long sleeves with these little stretchy bits on the end, which with a little frill kind of thing. Um, and it's buttoned at the front. It's a V-neck, which you know, if you watch my videos, you know I love a V-neck on most of everything I wear because I think it's so feminine and I really like that. Um, so yeah, I really like the colour of this. This is really nice colour. Um, but yeah, let's get it on. Let's see what it looks like and give it a proper review once it's on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. We have the green button front blouse. Um, I adore the colour of this, um, I really do, the colour is absolutely lovely, but again, this doesn't fit me properly, um, it is a 24, um, but the buttons are pulling, um, and I couldn't do these buttons up because I suffer quite severely with, um, arthritis in my in my bones and in my joints and I struggle to do buttons up and all sorts so my son had to do these up for me um which was quite fiddly um also this is too short in the body um again this is like a running theme for misguided maybe they um all of their tops seem to come up like their crop tops and yeah if you are a person that doesn't always like to wear short tops i'm not really um a person that likes to sort of have my belly out sort of so exposed i'm just i'm just not comfortable with comfortable with that um i don't mind doing it with joggers but with jeans i'm just yeah it's not my thing um so i do like a top that sort of comes down sort of about here so this is too short for me um but all in all yeah i mean i don't know if this is 
a running problem with this blouse where the buttons sort of pull because sometimes you do even if you size up this still does happen on certain items that I have upstairs even um so yeah but the arms are really nice I love the color of this um but again it's just far too short in the body um so yeah it's a thumbs down for me I just wish this was longer and it didn't have this sort of gaping problem here because I would have kept this because I really really adore this color um so yeah thumbs down for me okay so next up we have by the way I am converted to what is the um material the material is um like that crinkly pleasley material is it called pleasley I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a plus size. Yeah, it is a plus size pleasely wrap blouse. I'm converted to pleasely material from doing my nasty gal haul. And there was a pleasely dress, which I kept. Um, and you'll probably see I've worn it in one of my hauls that I'm doing. Um, and I just love the material. It's so lovely and soft, so comfortable. Oh, I love it. But anyway, let's get this out of the bag. Nobody's talking too much again today. Um, oh, okay. So this is the material which I'm talking about. This material feels really thin. This one particularly um, feels very, very thin and looks quite see-through. Um, it's a wrap style blouse top um, with short sleeves. Um, and it's got some stretch through the middle there, if you can see that. Um, this is a UK size 22. Um, if you can see that there, UK size 22. Um, let's get it on and let's see what it looks like on. And we'll give it a proper review. So here is the black piece, Pleasley blouse um this is really cute it's really nice it's very very thin um that's one thing that i must say um and i don't really like that because it feels a bit cheapy being so so thin um i like the little um sort of point so it sort of goes down at an angle which is quite nice a little nice little touch um it's actually long enough in the body that i'm happy with and the arms are quite nice and flowy um, this is actually a nice top actually to be honest with you but again it's just too thin for me I think it just feels like um, yeah I wash it and it might just disappear in the washing machine <laughs> um, but all in all um, it's a nice um, a nice top it's very thin it feels like I literally does don't have anything on um, I do like the neckline bras hanging out um i do like the neckline i do like the v um sort of the wrap style uh yeah it's okay but definitely going to be a thumbs down for me because i just yeah i just feel like it's the material just feels like it will just fall apart after one wash um so yeah let me know what you think ladies do you like it um yeah material thumbs down Okay, so next up, by the way, um, all the items that I am showing you today, I will link them all in the description bar below. So if you're interested in any of them, please do check in the description bar below. And um, for pricing, it will all be down below because on this um, invoice, there is no pricing. So sometimes if there's pricing, I will let you know on, um, on the while I'm doing the haul. If there isn't any pricing on the invoice, then I will just leave it in the description box below. And you can tap on the item that you're interested in and it will take you straight over to the website where you can hopefully get your size and um, have a good look at the item itself. So anyway, okay, so what do we have here? We have the plus size puff sleeve Bardot blouse. I love a Bardot blouse. I love a Bardot anything. A Bardot dress, a Bardot blouse. I love, that's one part of my body that I like to show off is my shoulders. Um, so yeah, I love a Bardot. Um, the colour of this looks really nice. It's like a burnt orange colour. Let's get it out. The rustling, rustling, rustling. So the, oh, this looks really nice. I don't know what colour this is showing up 
what this color this is showing up on camera but it's like a burnt orange color um i love the sleeves if you can see they've got like a little bit elastic halfway through and then another bit of elastic so it's quite pretty um oh i like the look of this this is really pretty um and then obviously it's got a little elastic at the bottom but this is in a size 24 let's get it on and let's just see what it looks like on and Give it a proper review once it's on. Do, 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 do. So this is, what is this one? This is the Puff, uh, sorry, Puff, yeah, Puff Sleeve Bardot Blouse. Um, and this is in like a 20, in a size 24. Um, and it's in like a burnt orange type of colour. Um, I really do like this one, but again, it's a bit too short in the body for me. I would like it would have liked it to be a little bit longer I've just pulled my bra straps down just to give you the full effect um but yeah this is really nice I really like the sleeves I think they're really like cute the way um they have the stretchy bit here um and then again here um it's really really nice this blouse I really like it I like the color it's comfortable um I would definitely say it's true to size um yeah um but again just for me where i do have a bit of a long torso um i i do like my blouses just to come if this was just that little inch longer um but i guess actually i would wear it um yeah let me know what do you think ladies um that's the back there but yeah all in all it is a very nice barred up blouse Okay, so next up is the plus size puff short sleeve jersey top. And this is in like a grey colour. Let's get it open. Have a quick look before we put it on. Oh, okay. This feels really nice. Um, this feels really nice, this top. This feels like a really nice, comfortable, everyday top. And actually, it looks really well made. Like... The sleeves, um, it's quite thick. So this top sort of you could wear um, going into sort of winter. It's a size 22. It looks like a smock style. So with the um, bottom bit, which I love that because sort of tight in the areas that I like it to be on the top sort of breast area. And then from underneath the breast sort of flares out. So it's sort of not tight around your tummy. I like that. Um, in my tops um and dresses and so on so yeah um let's just try it on and let's see what it looks like is the gray puff sleeve jersey and i really like this this is very well made i must say like it, if i come a bit closer i love this here the way it comes up and goes down so i really love that little detail um the sleeves are really cute they come to a nice length on my arms um the material feels really lovely and really like it feels like it will wash up time and time again really well and last a long time so yeah i really like this i can't remember how much it is um but i will link um i will link it in the description box down below uh this is a size 22 which i'm wearing which i would say is true to size um if you're in between sizes then i would say go for your size down because i'm a size 22 24 and this is a 22 um so yeah i really really like this let me move all the way back so you can see but yeah i love this this is such a nice top and i'm um, definitely a thumbs up for me and probably one that i will be keeping because yeah this is this is um yeah comfortable and looks cute at the same time love let me know what you think ladies okay so next up we have a pair of jeans i'm not hopeful about jeans because i am very um i don't know funny with buying jeans and jeggings and stuff um there's only a limited amount of places that i can get them where i feel that i'm comfortable in them so i've never tried them from misguided so i thought why not give them a try but looking at these in the bag I don't know if you can see here, they don't look stretchy. They look like that type of jean that's not stretchy. So let's hope they are stretchy. Um, okay, so these are in a size 24 and they are the plus 
Sinner Distressed Skinny Jeans. Sinner. Oh, they, they have got a bit of stretch to them. So there they are. Oh, they feel nice actually. And they've got like the distress bit there. Um, oh, and then they've got a bit of distressing on the bottom, which is nice. I haven't really got any jeans with a bit of distressing on the bottom. So that's that'll be nice to try. They're a size 24. I really like the colour of these. Um, I have do have quite a few pairs of jeans, but um, yeah, I just like to get the right colour. Um, and I do feel that... Um, Having different colour jeans, yeah, does make a difference to the tops that you're wearing. So, yeah, let's um, get these on and let's see what they look like. I hope they fit. Blue wash jeans. These are really nice. Um, they're size 24. I really liked the distress bit up here. And also there's some distressing on the bottom. I don't know if I can move further enough back so you can see them. Um, but there's distressing on the bottom, which were really nice. I don't have a pair of jeans in my wardrobe like that. So I, yeah, really like that, that they're different. And they feel really comfortable on. They, they just about fit, which is fine because I have put, I have literally put nearly two stone on since we've been in lockdown. That is like mind blowing. I mean, I stood on the scales like four times and i thought the scales was telling me lies or i thought the scales was wrong um so yeah i i know i can feel it in myself that i have gained weight but um i didn't know i'd gained that much so i need to get a grip and i will get a grip so yeah so these are snug so but which is fine because once you know i start getting a grip of myself i know that they will be fine but um yeah i really like these uh definitely probably going to be a keeper because I don't have a pair of jeans in my wardrobe with that distressing on the bottom and that is really in at the moment and yeah really like it so keeper winner winner chicken dinner next up we have the plus size puff poplin poplin blouse I can't read properly today um yeah that's what it says it says poplin mm. plus size puff poplin blouse let's have a look and let's see what it looks like let's get it open rip it rip it rip it okay hmm okay so it's like a white blouse which is feels very bed sheety hard bed cheaty if that makes any sense Jodie you're such a weirdo um v a v-neck sort of um with sort of like can you see the stitching under the breast area um and then it sort of is coming out like kind of peplum style at the bottom so yeah and this is in a size um 24 so yeah let's get it on and let's see what it looks like on um yeah Oh my goodness, this is like an epic foul. This blouse is awful. Um, it's far too small. I have a black bra on. This always happens. I never know what colour bra to wear and I literally do not have the energy um, to get my bra on and off to change for the different colour top. So today I have a black bra on and I literally cannot get this on properly. I'm not quite sure. It's too short in the body um, and it's flattening my boobs um this is a size 24 so i'm quite surprised that this doesn't fit me um the arms fit the arms are actually quite nice i like this puff thing it gives it a little bit of a um you know bit of extra sort of out there kind of look which is really nice um but yeah i would say if you like this top um definitely um or you know i definitely think that you need to size up at least two sizes um it fits sort of in this body area but it's far too short 
for me um if you can see and my boobs do not fit in it so this is an epic foul let me just get it off um but yeah all in all it is a really nice blouse um in in terms of like the shoulders i like that that gives it a bit of drama um and yeah but my boobs just don't fit in it so and it's too short in the body so thumbs down i thought i'd show you what i'm wearing today um i am wearing a lovely pretty little thing um, I'm not quite sure what the, the print of this is called because I bought it sort of like the beginning of last year maybe. Uh, so yeah, but I know it's a wrapped style blouse and I absolutely love it. I love the print of this. I decided to wear this today because you will see in my last haul, my Pretty Little Thing last haul, which will be aired before this one, um, I ordered three more of these but in different colours. Um, so yeah, none of them really um, appeal to me like this one does. So yeah, so this is, it's like an African print kind of, and that's so me. I'm half African, I'm half white. So yeah, I really, really love this. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. That's the end of my misguided haul. Um, it wasn't a massive haul, but uh, let's sum this up. I'm not pleasantly happy with the items that I tried on today. They were a little bit hit and miss, to be honest. Uh, my two favourites was the grey jersey style smock top, which I'm definitely going to keep because that feels really quality. feels like it's going to wash up, wash up really well. Um, and yeah, I think that I will wear that time and time again um, and get a lot of wear out of that. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And the jeans also, I've still got them on. Um, I really like them. They fit really well. They work, they are a little bit snug, but again, I um, fluctuate in my weight. So I know that they'll be fine. Um, and I don't have a pair of distress sort of at the bottom um, on any of my jeans so that's something different to add to my wardrobe so yeah the jeans are definitely a thumbs up and I'll definitely be keeping them and the grey jersey top definitely a thumbs up I'll be keeping that um, but all the rest will definitely be going back um, the white blousy puff sleeve that I'm really sort of disappointed that didn't sort of fit because I love the sleeves on on that blouse so dramatic and and I like to be different and have drama and I just like to stand out like there's nothing wrong with you know standing out I for so long wished I could hide behind people and just crawl away because I was so big and I stood out and now I enjoy standing out there's nothing wrong with it so yeah I like that blouse that kind of would have made me stand out even more if it if it fitted right but it didn't so that's definitely going to go back um and the green top oh gosh the colour oh my god literally was like heaven I love that green colour it was really nice um, but again, the style of the top sort of was gaping at the buttons and it was far too short in the body for me. Um, you know, some people might have a shorter torso or some people might not have any issue with sort of wearing a shorter um, blouse or top. So that would be perfect for some other people. But it was a really nice quality. Um, feels like it would wash up really well as well. The buttons were very fiddly, as, but so you have to kind of take that into consideration. I sort of kind of don't really wear things with fiddly buttons anymore or um, anything that's really difficult to get on. Um, I just find it, I find it hard to get dressed. My children, I'm just so thankful that I've started this channel. Um, the children in lock, we're all in lockdown and I'm just happy that I'm getting to do something that I really love with the help of my friends and family and my children um i have to say a big thank you to my children because without them this actually wouldn't be possible um you know as i've said on if you follow me over on instagram please do if you don't already follow me on instagram head over to instagram and i'll put my details just here um i really advocate sort of spreading awareness about invisible illnesses so if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please do head over to Instagram. I'll leave my um, name up here for you to find me um, because I don't only um, just promote self-confidence and 
loving yourself regardless of your size. Um, it, I also have um, a lot of people that follow me with invisible illnesses, such as myself, I have an invisible illness. And so I think it's really important to spread awareness um, about invisible illnesses because on the outside I look completely normal and um, people would look at me and think that there's you know I'm just a normal person but I have an invisible illness which prevents me from living a normal life so I'm really grateful that I'm able to do these videos and I'm doing something that I love and so many people are loving my content which is amazing I feel grateful um, and want to say a massive thank you to my two children because without them this wouldn't be possible um, they helped me get dressed and they bless them help me get these outfits on and off so I can film for you guys um, so it's a big effort doing this but I love it so much and I'm doing something that I really enjoy. Um, I love to spread um, positivity. I love to promote loving yourself regardless of the size you are, the colour of your skin, your disability or your gender. So, um, yeah, I'm just thankful that I can do that. So, you know, um, I'm raveling on now. But, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you for watching my videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, it would mean the world for you, um, mean the world for me if you could join my little crew over here um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I upload all of my daily outfits, inspirational quotes and much much more so head over to Instagram, follow me there um, and yeah if you enjoyed this video give me a big fat thumbs up and again don't forget to press the notification bell so every time I upload a new video you will be the first to be notified um so yeah that was my misguided haul and a little little chat with you guys there if there's anything you'd like to see in the future do let me know um and hopefully i can bring you a video on that um but until then um stay home guys stay safe and god bless Mwah. bye guys